Hello everyone and welcome to New Tech Tuesday Tutorials. I am Richard Evans. Make sure that you like, comment, and subscribe. Today I'd like to show you how to use a control panel to control your TriCaster transitions. So not only can you manually control your transitions via the T-Bar, but you also have access to nine different presets and their speeds via convenient controls right on the control panel, making the way that you produce your shows a lot easier. So let's dive in and take a look. All right, so here we are in the TriCaster TDC1 interface, and I'm gonna show you how to go through your different uh, transition uh, presets and controls on the interface before I show you how to do this on the control panel. All right, so uh, let's take a look at this portion of the screen. I've minimized everything else on screen. We don't need to be looking at our DDRs or anything else, so I'm just gonna have it stripped down pretty simple here. So this is the area of your uh, interface where you would go through and assign different uh, transitions. So for example, we go through here and we have, click on that, and that'll expand the nine different presets uh, that I can use at just a click of a button. Now you'll see that my presets number one and two are fade, that will be there by default, kind of your typical transitions. But then you have these other options here, these seven other uh, presets to go through and select your own uh, transitions, which you can uh, access by clicking on this plus button. And this will open up a media browser and show you all of the different transitions that are available to you, either the ones uh, built on the TriCaster by default or any of them that you've made, say an animation store creator, for example. All right, so uh, let's just go ahead and click that one. All right, and bring that in here. And let's go back into it. And now you'll see that I have that, uh, that clockwise door uh, transition available in here, along with a couple other ones. And I am going to select, you know, we'll leave it on this one for now. Uh, and then you, so if I wanted to, I could switch those pretty quick. So for example, I have that selected and I can go through on my broadcast and bring my transitions on. So you'll see that that's firing off whenever I hit the auto button. And if I want to change it real quick to the guitar one, boom, have that selected and make that go across. Now these are going across pretty slow right now because I currently have my speed of this as five seconds. Uh, now, I can also change the duration of those by using the defaults, the slow, medium, or fast, and I can assign those as well here, uh, or I can just type in the numbers uh, manually. But this is where you would go to kind of just go through and uh, modify your transitions a little bit. Now, to fire off your transitions on the TriCaster interface, uh, I, if I use take, that will just do a cut. But uh, I can also use auto, and that will then basically yeah, use the settings that I have here. It will say trigger off this transition plus whatever time you've selected here. So let's go ahead and do that for the guitar and whoosh. There we go. Cool. All right. And then also you have a T bar here. And if I move that down manually, you'll see that I can kind of stop animate it while I'm doing this, move it back and forth, etc., for a transition as well. And this is kind of here for to kind of give you an interface effect if. Uh, for a, a physical T-bar in the event that you do not have a T-bar on a control panel. But in this situation, we do have a control panel, which is the subject of our tutorial today. So here is the TriCaster uh, two-stripe control panel. And uh, let's go ahead and take a look at some of these things uh, as far as how we would uh, modify our transitions. All right, so uh, first thing that I want to show you is we are going to be taking a look at this portion of the screen. This is I mean, the uh, control panel. This is based our uh, different uh, controls for uh, modifying our transitions when we're in the middle of a broadcast. So really only five buttons over here, which is gonna be this effect button, the rate button, take, auto, and then also our T-bar. All right, and uh, so let me go ahead and just show some of those a little bit. So if I use this T-bar, if you look on the interface now, that software T-bar will move that up and down. All right, and then my take buttons, again, that just does a take from my uh, program and preview rows. And then the auto button will modify, or sorry, will fire off the transition that I have selected. Okay, so that being said, the other controls here are going to be this effect button and the rate button. And I want to take a look at this effect button here first. And for me to do that, what I'm going to do is I'll hold this button down and then let me zoom over to another part of my control panel here. Uh, so let me zoom out first and show you what's happening now is whenever I hold this button down, 
the main line here of my uh, two stripe now is giving me access to my nine different presets that I have on my uh, TriCaster transitions. All right, now if I did the same thing up here for my two stripe, kind of the same concept, it'll do the same, uh, it'll let you have access to whatever transitions you have on the uh, stripe that is controlled by the stripe that you have up here. And if you have a four stripe control panel, well then you got four of those bad boys to stack up. All right, but I'm just gonna focus on the bottom one here because the same rules apply to each of those stripes. All right, so uh, again, I'm gonna hold down effect and let me zoom in to show you what that looks like now. All right, so now instead of our inputs one, two, three, et cetera, uh, now you have the names of the different transitions that were in those presets like I showed on the interface here. All right, so if I select it to cut, well, it'll go to cut, fade. I also have my clockwise door, et cetera, uh, uh, within these. So then I can select. So uh, let's say we're going to stick with the guitar one because that one's pretty noticeable. All right, so now I have guitar loaded in there, and I can now let go of my effect button, and that has been changed accordingly. Okay, so the next thing I want to show you is this knob here. What this will allow you to do is to manually set the time for your transition. So if I just go ahead and turn it clockwise, you'll see on the interface now that I am moving that up incrementally by a different frame. So I have three seconds, four frames, yada, yada, yada. So I can move these like that uh, just by turning them. So I can really dial it in if I need to have a specific uh, time going on here. But if I wanted to select between slow, medium, and fast, all I have to do is press the rate button. So I press it once, it'll go slow, press it again, it'll go to medium, press it again, it'll go to fast. All right. So this gives you different options and being able to do this really quick and on the fly and not having to go, oh, let me turn over and grab my mouse and do this all manually here. Since I already have those presets in, I could go and do this really simply. So if I want to say zoom out, all right, so let's go ahead and bring up that. I'm going to transition from my input three to my input number two. Let's do this real quick. We'll say effect, non-additive, cool, auto transition. Boom, did it like that. I didn't have to do anything else. Go over here, back to guitar, auto transition, or do it by hand. So this will make your life in transition land super easy and can be kind of fun when you can start to play around with the stuff. You feel like a Death Star laser operator when you're doing this. So I definitely recommend checking this out, uh, trying to do this on your own, and have some fun. As you can see, using the control panel to control your transitions is a great way of streamlining your productions. I hope this video has been helpful, and if you'd like to learn more, click subscribe on the New Tech YouTube page at youtube.com slash newtechinc. And if you're looking for more detailed training, check out New Tech University at newtech.com slash newtech u. And for more information on New Tech products and services, contact your local reseller or visit our website, newtech.com. And also, if you're sharing your work on social media, tag us using the hashtags NewTech or TriCaster. I love going through social media and seeing what, I, what all of y'all are working on, and it's been pretty awesome. Thank you again for watching, and I'll see you next time for another edition of NewTech Tuesday Tutorials. Yeah.